Greetings everyone and welcome. My name is Karina from the Boho Abode and today I'm going to bring you along with me as I paint my dining room table. I'm going to be using Velvet Finishes products because they are one of the official sponsors of the New Year New Room Refresh Challenge and I'm really excited because I know I already love their products. First, I need to flash back because I did get started last night so I'm going to jump into that now. Hi everyone! Sorry for the crappy lighting, it's already really late in the day, but I wanted to go ahead and get a jump start on this project and I wanted to bring you along with me, so here we are. So I am not going to be taking the table outside to paint it and that's just because it is so cold it'll take forever for each layer of paint to cure. So I am doing it right here in this room, but I need to get the rug out of the way so that it doesn't get ruined. So. I'm going to clear the furniture off of it and roll it up and then I will jump back on to let you know what's next. All right, now that that's done, I went to the dollar store earlier today and picked up two of their four by six tarps. So I'm gonna lay these out underneath the table and hopefully that will cover enough area to prevent any kinds of paint mishap. So let me do that. <laughs> laid out and I did end up using a couple of pieces of washi tape to hold them together where they uh, overlap underneath the table just to keep them from coming undone as I'm moving around the table and now it is time for the first step in the painting process and that is ready and this is by velvet finishes it is the first step in using their furniture paint line and it just preps the piece for paint to be applied so I'm going to start spraying this whole table down now spray a generous amount on, wait a few moments, and then wipe it off. So I am going to cap this and take care of the other bottle and come back and wipe it. And that's going to be it for the progress I am making on this this evening. <laughs> to present day, I am going to start painting the piece and I'm using the minimalistic color, which they do say on their website could take four to five coats because it is just an ultra pure white and this is it here. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting and bring you along with me.
the burst coat is on, I'm going to give you a quick look at what that looks like. And this stuff dries really fast, but I am gonna give it about an hour before I put another coat on just to make sure any thicker spots where things have gone into details have a chance to dry well enough to get a second coat. So let me go ahead and show you what one coat looks like. So this one right here is where I'm starting. You can see the nail and it's just like a flat, but the rest of this is actually like a dry finish. And I just did that on the day that you can see it. There's a few more strokes and it's a little streaky, but that's okay because it's still a little bit of 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 a little bit of
details on this really pop now and that's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly why I wanted this table and so I'm just going to repeat that around the whole bottom of the table and then I think we'll be able to move on to sealing the top of it. The paint and glaze are both fully dry now which means it's time for the final layer which is the Velvet Finishes Protect. And this is just a finishing layer. It protects the piece from any everyday dings and it also adds a little bit of a sheen. So I'm excited to jump into it, so let's go.